films were showing three-dimensional movies. When we showed these movies up in Boston, I think the, uh, some of the people up there were quite interested and excited in what they saw. Yes, I suppose that as an educational tool, it's very good. It allows people to see things which only mathematicians could see before. And in fact, the people who seemed most interested were the medical doctors and uh, people like audiologists. Human speech, seemingly so simple, is a very complicated process no one fully understands. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep. Those words were spoken by a digital computer, programmed to simulate a speaking machine. Much of what we know about voice and speech is stored in the computer's memory. From there, we can experiment with more advanced ideas in areas that are still unknown. Take stress. How do we always seem to know just which parts of spoken words to emphasize? Ruth, let's try to synthesize that sentence. 